everyone, it's your nurse Shana Jay. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please do excuse my background. I'm in my bathroom, but it's the only place I could get some decent lighting because it's raining outside. So yeah, I had to take it to my bathroom, but you know, we're gonna let it work. So guys, let's get into what I came here to talk about. Okay guys, so within the fragrance community, there are so many tips and tricks and suggestions that we get when it comes on to wearing or fragrances but have you ever stopped to wonder if these are true or not well today i'm going to talk about the most talked about suggestion tips and tricks and i'm going to deem them myth or fact so let's get into it. one that i hear all the time within the fragrance community and i'm sure you guys have also heard of it is that if you cannot smell your own fragrance on yourself that only means it's going so well with your chemistry now when i heard this one for the first time i had to really think about it and i kind of wanted to believe it because it sounds good right because how many of us have struggled with you know letting our perfumes last so i really wanted to believe this one but Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to deem this one to be a myth because I could find so many other reasons as to why or fragrance doesn't last and to me it does not include because you know it's going well with your chemistry. One could be it has low lasting power, the sillage is not good so it doesn't have good throw so you're unable to smell it. Um, it could be that you have become used to your scent. Um, there are some people out there that, you know, are unable to smell certain ingredients in perfumes like musk or certain woods. So I think those are really good reasons as to why you may not be able to smell your own fragrance. But I just don't think one of them is that it's because it's going sober with your chemistry. So I'm going to deem this one a myth. Okay, so within the fragrance community, how many times have you heard not to do this? Apply perfume, then try to rub it. How many times have you heard that? I've heard this one so many times. And like all the other tricks and tips and suggestions, I just didn't know if this one was true or not. I've heard it so many times, if you rub your wrists together after applying perfume or cologne, you're actually destroying the fragrance. And I didn't quite know what this one meant. What do you mean destroying the fragrance? It still smells good, you know what I mean? So I've always been a little bit wary of this one, but I've tried this one again and again, and I think this one is in fact a fact. Rubbing your wrists together after applying perfume actually destroys the molecular structure of the perfume. So you are basically getting rid of the top notes. So you're robbing yourself of those beautiful top notes. Plus you're not allowing the fragrance to properly develop on your skin. And also it's just going to mess up the lasting power. So please do not rub your wrists together after applying perfume. That's a fact. Okay guys, so one that I hear all the time is a bit controversial and now that I'm about to talk about it, I'm getting even hotter, okay? So I'm talking about penny droppers, penny droppers. So there seems to be a couple of guys out there who think that if their cologne smells really good, women are going to have sex with them. Is this fact or is this a myth? This one is tricky because there are some girls out there who could care less about what a man smells like and there are girls on the other hand that really cares a lot about what men smell like and I happen to fall into that category, right? So I know that smelling good is very important to, to me. Now, I do not think that women are going to have sex with the men because they smell good, but it does add to the attraction, but I think that's what it does. It adds to the attraction. So if I'm not attracted to you, but you smell good, it ain't going to happen. But if I'm already attracted to you, but you smell really good, man, that's going to add some more attraction, which could lead to you know what. So this one is tricky, but to think about it in the sense that if you smell good and you have nothing else going on for you and girls are, girls are, girls are just going to have sex with you because you smell good, I'm going to say that's a myth. Okay, that is not a fact. So next. Okay, another one that we hear all the time within the fragrance community, and that is that EDPs last longer than EDTs. This is also another tricky one because according to perfume professionals, uh, fragrance professionals, 
EDPs last way longer than EDTs because they have more essential oils than EDTs that has a lower concentration of essential oils. This is not always the case. You have a lot of EDTs that will outlast EDPs. I think it depends on the quality the quality of the ingredients that's used within the the fragrance. So I'm a I'm gonna deem this one to be a myth. EDPs do not always last longer than EDTs. So there are a lot of people out there that will say that the right way to apply your fragrance is like this, and you just walk out your house. Remember when you always used to see that in movie and you try to be like them, and then by the time you get out of your house you're wondering why you can't smell your own perfume because I actually believe that the right way to apply your perfume is on your pulse points like your wrists, behind your ears, in the middle of your chest where that gets really warm, right? So I think that's the proper way. Now, if you have a fragrance that's too strong, I have many of those, and you just don't want to spray them on your pulse points because it's only gonna get stronger throughout the day if you do that, all you really have to do is spray it once, spray it between your chest, something like that, behind your, the neck, something along those lines. But do not spray it in the air, you're just wasting your money, in my opinion. So I'm going to deem this one to be a myth. Okay, so one that I always hear is that if you have a fragrance and it has started to change colors, then you have to get rid of it. You have to toss it because it is no longer good. This one I'm gonna have to deem as a myth because I have a lot of fragrances that have started to change color and it is still good, it smells good and I'm gonna show you an example of that. So this is a Fancy and this one is by Jessica Simpson. When I just bought this perfume, it had like a light peachy kind of color and now it's like a more amber looking color so that's what the color now looks like. So if I was supposed to listen to everyone else or the professionals or all the perfumistas, I would have thrown out my perfectly good fragrance. So this one smells really good, but I think there's a little bit of trick to this one and you have to have like some sort of experience with perfumes to know this one. I think if it's like a citrusy perfume, like something very fresh smelling and say you bought it and it was like a clear color or something like that and it's turned maybe like a yellow color i think it's actually safe to get rid of that one because a lot of the times if you have a citrusy perfume or fresh smelling perfume and it changes color the chances are the perfume is actually gonna change scents and you just don't want want to do that because when your perfume goes bad it's things like hell this one i think perfumes that are more vanilla based um, more gourmand. They actually do just last a little better for some reason. I don't know the science behind it, but I find that it does last better. And in this in this case where this is like a vanilla vanilla say, a vanilla based scent, when it starts to change color, I think the scent gets a little bit more intensified for some strange reason. It smells stronger, and to be honest, it just doesn't change the way the scent works or develops. So I'm gonna have to do that one to be a myth. I personally, I don't throw out my perfume unless it starts to smell bad. So that's just my thing. Okay, so this one everyone has heard. I'm sure if you've ever been into a perfume store, you've heard the sales associates say, smell these coffee beans. So does this one, is this tip actually true? Does it actually work? I say it depends. If the coffee beans are really potent and it's brand new, it's fresh, and it was enclosed in a bottle and you get a whiff of it, yes, I think it will refresh your sense of smell and allow you to smell the perfume better. If these coffee beans are like anyone's in Sephora that's old, been there for months, been sprayed on, and it's in a knitted bag, then I think it really doesn't make any sense. So the coffee beans has to be strong and they have to be really fresh for that to make a difference. I do, however, think that the, the best way to refresh your nose is to actually step outside, get some fresh air, and step back in. That's actually the best way to smell your perfume, in my opinion, and from what I've experienced. So, I'm going to deem this one to be fact. So, yeah, it's a fact.
So the last one that I'm really going to talk about is one that I kind of don't understand so maybe you guys could allow me to understand it. Is that if you have a perfume, you should always try to get the matching lotion to make the scent last longer. Now I think this is kind of true because if I go to say Victoria's Secret and I buy a little splash like this one and I buy the, the, the body lotion, if I apply the body lotion, I'm going to smell that, the scent for the whole day but doesn't that just mean that you're smelling the cream because if you would have applied this by itself you would not really smell it until you know you would smell it but you won't smell it for too long because it's gonna wear off but if you apply the body lotion you'll smell it on yourself for the whole day but doesn't that just mean that the cream itself lasts longer then why bother with the splash right so I don't understand this one. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it valuable. And I hope you learned something. Okay, let me know what tips, tricks, and suggestions that you've actually heard. Um, and do you think it's a myth or a fact? I love you guys. Bye. No. Oh, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like. Um, because it really does help. Okay guys, now I'm gone. Bye.